Rashid to the U.S. Ambassador, Baghdad and the region want to resolve the issue of budget and pay the dues of the region's employees. President Abdullah Jamal Rashid received, on Sunday, at the Peace Palace in Baghdad, the Ambassador of the United States of America to Iraq, Elena Romansky, stressing the keenness to continue building close relations that serve mutual interests, respect national sovereignty, and enhance joint cooperation in various fields. During the meeting, Rashid referred to a presidential statement, a copy of which was received by Euphrates News, Iraq's determination to continue the approach of reform, eliminate cases of corruption, and build distinguished partnerships that contribute to achieving comprehensive development and economic growth, stressing the importance of benefiting from experiences and experiences and employing them to gain skills and improve the reality of the economic, commercial, agricultural, environmental and energy sectors. He almost pointed out that the presidency of the republic adopted the release of detainees whose sentences have expired and the formation of a committee that, in addition to the presidency of the republic, included the Supreme Judicial Council, the Ministries of Justice and Interior and the National Security Advisors to follow up the files of the convicts and the expiration dates of their sentences, to ensure their release on time. Rashid stressed the importance of finding solutions to the outstanding issues between the federal government and the Kurdistan region in accordance with the constitution, law and political understandings, indicating the desire of the two sides to continue the dialogue to resolve the issue of the budget and pay the dues of the employees of the Kurdistan region like their peers of employees. For her part, the U.S. ambassador affirmed her country's desire to develop relations between the two countries and strengthen cooperation to serve the two friendly peoples. The situation at the regional and international levels was also reviewed, and the support for the opportunities for peace, security and stability in the region was emphasized.